Pies Around the House. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review and product demonstration of the Wago 773 Series connector blocks. The Wago 773 Series come in a box like this. The first thing to note is that these connector blocks are push fit. You can see on the box, these push fit connectors accept a solid conductor or cable from 0.75mm up to 2.5mm and they accept braided cable from 1.5mm up to 2.5mm. They don't however accept flexible cable because this won't work with the push fit unlike the Wago 222 series. They come in a range of sizes and the ones I'm demonstrating today are the ones with four terminals and the ones with two terminals. The Wago 773 series of connector blocks are rated at 300 volts and 20 amps. This makes them perfect for any domestic circuit protected by a 20 amp fuse or less. These are most likely to be used in domestic lighting circuits. They also do a three terminal version of these and they come in a higher rating, so look out for those. These connectors must be used in a suitable enclosure and the perfect enclosure is the Wago Box Junction Box. This has been specifically designed to accept the 773 series and the 222 series of the Wago connector blocks. In this demonstration, I'm using the CK automatic wire strippers, and I'll review these in another video. First, strip a length of cable down to size. Once you've removed the grey outer sheath down to length, take your wire strippers and strip the end of the cable off to approximately 7mm. Then take one of your connector blocks, place your cable inside the connector block, and just push and that's it it's that simple because these blocks have a clear housing you can see when these cables have been pushed correctly into place if you want to remove these connector blocks you just hold the connector block and twist back and forth like that and they will release this connector block is then completely reusable if you want to do an electrical test on the connectors, you don't need to remove the cables. You just put your electrical testing device down the hole in the back of the connector block. So what I particularly like about the Wago connector blocks is that the cable must be stripped and cut to exactly the same length for all the terminals. So when using an automatic wire stripper, this makes it extremely simple. Just place all your cables inside the wire stripper, click, pull, and they will all be stripped to exactly the same length. These can then be placed straight into the connector blocks. Then if you just take your earth sheath and place it over your cable, you can then just push these into all the connector blocks as required. Just place your neutral in with the neutral. Place your earth in with the other earth and place your live in with the other live, like that. And there you have safely connected those cables together. So if we take what I've labeled as my loop in, you just take your live and place that into there, which we'll call the loop. Take your neutral and place that into the other connector block. And there are your neutrals. And place the earth into this connector block. And that's your earths. Then take your loop out and do exactly the same. Place the live into the live connector block. Place the neutral into the neutral connector block. And place the earth into the earth connector block. Then we'll take our switch cable, which is the cable from the terminals down to the switch. With this, again, we'll put the live into the live connector block. We'll put the earth into the earth connector block. But then our switch live which is marked with a brown piece of tape to indicate that it's a switch live, returns through this neutral cable, and we'll place that into the twin connector, and that will be our live. This is the cable that will go to your light fitting. So with this, we place the live into the live, place the earth into the earth, and the neutral just returns back into the neutral. These connector blocks can then sit inside your light fitting if it's deep enough, or if they need to be housed in an enclosure in the ceiling, we can use the Wago Box Junction Box. This is the Wago Box Junction Box, and if we look inside, the cables enter through here, and they are fastened by these grippy parts here, so there is no need to clamp the cables outside of the box. 
and this prevents the cables from being pulled out of the connector blocks. And the connectors just sit in these end compartments by here. So we can just take the connector blocks, place them into these small squares here, push them down inside the box, then take our other two connector blocks, place those on top, and again, push them into place. Take your cables, I'm going to put two in each side, place those into the grippy housing, and there's all your cable and connectors securely fastened into the Wago box. Then just squeeze the box together, close the lid, and that should click into place, like that. And there you have the whole box with your connectors and cable safely secured. This box can then be placed through the hole in your ceiling, above your light fitting, out of view. So personally I think these are a brilliant bit of kit. The push fit function is really quick and really simple. If using automatic wire strippers, you can cut and strip the cable all to length at once. They're clear, so you can see that you've pushed your cable into place correctly. They're completely reusable. You've got the Wago Box Junction Box, which is specifically designed to fit these connector blocks. These connector blocks are simple, fast and easy to use. Tidy! For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!